And testing sites all around the state are busy as they encounter thousands of students. Tonight, we've got a closer look from News 19's Kaylin Hagwood at what doctors say they are seeing in Sumter every day. It's a story we're hearing across the state. Students back home due to the virus. This week, Daniel Crowder's daughter joined the more than 2,000 Sumter students now quarantined after 200 positive cases were found in their district. Somebody from the hallway got exposed to COVID and they sent the whole hallway home. She said, I don't want to go back to school, so her next step is getting tested, something Dr. David Justice, chief medical officer at Tandem Health, says he's seeing more and more of. The mixture has shifted from um, primarily adults, which is what we had been seeing, to about 40 percent of adults um, presenting for testing and about 60 percent of our patients have been pediatrics. Before this month, he said about 10 percent of those tested were positive, but now they're seeing an increase. It's about 13 percent of the adults that presented for testing were positive, but uh, uh, 18 percent of the pediatric patients were positive. So that, that's a pretty high rate. Crowder says she's just hoping her daughter can return soon. Um, this is this versus things for the little kids is not going to it's not going to work. Obviously, we try and push for vaccination among uh, adults and, and eligible children and, and adolescents that we should start to see these numbers start to come down somewhat. So that's that's our hope over the next coming weeks. In Sumter, I'm Kaylin Hagwood.